Good afternoon, I'm Kim Baez. Major developments in the salmonella outbreak at a New Mexico peanut plant that made dozens sick. The FDA says Sunland Incorporated knew its peanut and almond butters were contaminated, but sent the products to stores anyway. News 13's Jessica Gaudette has more from the Newsplex. Well, Sunland CEO denies the company knowingly distributed tainted products, but the FDA says otherwise. Government inspectors found 28 different samples of salmonella. The FDA just released its report saying it found some bad conditions inside and outside the Portales plant that made perfect conditions for salmonella to grow. Inspectors say Sunland Inc. employees practiced poor sanitation habits while handling peanuts and equipment. The FDA says there were no records of the plant cleaning its equipment. They say facility doors were open, allowing pests to enter inside. Investigators also uncovered trailers of peanuts outside the facility that were exposed to rain and birds. The company recalled hundreds of nuts, peanut and almond butters earlier this year after one of its peanut butter was linked to 41 salmonella illnesses around the country. The FDA, as far back as 2009, says the company cleared peanut and almond butters for distribution, even though its own tests showed they were tainted with salmonella. The company isn't talking to us today. But last month, the vice president told us no salmonella had been found in any of its products or at the plant. I have to repeat and reiterate that there is no product that has been identified. It is strictly a strain of salmonella that has been identified as common to the people that had fallen in ill. Again, that was back in September. The FDA also found problems with Sunland's testing process. Kim? Okay, thanks, Jessica. Now, Sunland remains closed. The FDA is currently evaluating the company's response to the government's inspection. The FDA has to give the go-ahead for the plant to reopen.